hey guys welcome back uh, in this video i will talk about uh, the understanding of different queue formats and uh, how to convert from one queue format to another queue format and also we will see you know how to represent uh, the negative number uh, in a queue format okay so in the previous video i was mainly talking about uh, uh, you know 1.25 right so I wanted to represent this 1.25 in terms of uh, Q format. I basically took uh, Q 1.1.14 because uh, this one can be represented with one bit, one bit for sign, and then uh, you know out of uh, 16 bits DSP 16 bit registers, uh, you know the remaining 14 bits can be allocated for fractional part. So based on this, you know uh, the number, uh, you know the fixed point number was like this okay i'm directly writing it okay even we will verify this okay no problem so how to verify this okay so for, uh, i was explaining from flow to fix uh, uh, formula which i which uh, is there in the previous video so to convert it into q 1.1.14 i need to multiply by right to the power of 14 then afterwards i need to add by 0.5 and this will be you know, in in 16 right so if, if i do this one i will get 2480 so now uh, simply you, you take the calc okay go to decimal point you type 2480 uh, and you will see uh, you know the 16 bit number and uh, that will be same as what is shown over here right now can I represent this? Now the question is uh, uh, different Q format, right? So 1.25 and uh, I was at Q 1.1.14. What about Q 1.2.13? Can I represent with this format, right? Here the integer will be 2 bits, okay? Sign is 1 bit and the fractional part is 13 bits. The thing is that when we are going to represent uh, in a different queue format we need to first understand uh, what is the range that uh, this can support since integer is 2 bit um, so it will be 2 to the power of 0 2 to the power of 1 this is 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 so maximum it can go to 3 point and fractional point uh, we are 13 bits we can go 3.99 right so then since we have uh, you know the negative and positive part so this can go up to plus this one and uh, minus 4.000 so this is the range that it can support then uh, what about this one this one will support um, 1.99 that is plus minus 2 that's why you know 1.25 was coming within this range and we were able to uh, you know represent with this key format now since even 1.25 also comes under this range uh, so i should be in a position to represent 1.25 uh, in this format right okay so let, let's represent how to represent um, you know one so we have two bits from integer so this will be 0 1 right and uh, uh, now 13 bits fractional part so how to represent uh, the 13 bits so 13 bit uh, 0.25 right 0 1 okay 0 0 0 0 0 0 total 8 it became okay i will put a mark here 8 9 10 11 12 13 right 13 14 15 and then finally you have this one so this will be 0 0 1 0 1 so four zeros four zeros this is q 1.2.13 what was the number earlier okay earlier was 0101 0, 1. then all are uh, zeros okay i'll just write like this so this was q 1.1.14 can you see the difference here right so basically from year to uh, from if i want to convert from year to year and then I can clearly see that I need to do you know right shift right shift by one okay so if you do that one uh, you will actually 
uh, get this representation so let us see that one using calculator so basically in a fixed point number uh, you know if i want uh, it in q13 then 1.25 i need to multiply by 2 to the power of 13 right then uh, 0.5 i need to add it so what is this number okay so this will be 10 240 right so now i will go to the calci 240 okay so now i think it's it's matching here so now let, let's do one thing okay so i was telling you i should do, uh, you know do right shift then i will get this number right um yeah so you can even take a, a one zero one zero one uh, then all our zeros right one two three four one two three four one two three four so this one if i right shift by uh, one then i will get uh, zero zero one zero and then this will be in this is similar to that of what i have shown in the q1 dot so so if you want to convert from q14 to 13 you know it's like rather than multiplying by 2 to the power of 14 you need to multiply by 2 to the power of 13 which means that um, you know if you are already in uh, this format if you do just right shift by one then you will get back uh, the q1.2.13 format all right if you want a q1.3.12 this is also possible right then um, what you have to do you have to do from here to here you have to do right shift by two i hope you want the concept can i represent this uh, 1.225 uh, in q 1.0.15 this is also possible right see this is zero which means that uh, there is no integer part so it will be uh, in this year the range is uh, plus 0 0.9999 uh, to minus one okay so this 1.5 doesn't come in this range so definitely you know we will not be in a position to actually represent this 1.25 uh, in q1.0.15 format all right so um, okay now what is the next point which i want to talk uh, here so representing uh, the negative number so i want to say one minus 1.25 i will just take okay so already 1.25 i represented something like this right now since there is a minus can i just make it one year msp bit is the one which is going to represent a, a plus or minus right will this work out no this will not work out why because the negative numbers will be stored uh, in two's complement okay so i will put the earlier number how to get the two's uh, complement okay so then first you need to take the uh, negation of all this right then uh, you need to add plus one so if you add plus one so i am writing it so one will be carried here one okay so this will be one zero one I hope this is correct. Uh, uh, we can check it using Calci. Okay. So how to actually? Uh, I am representing uh, right now in Q one dot one dot fourteen. Okay. So which means that minus one point two five into two to the power of fourteen. So what will it become? Um, so minus two zero four eight zero. Right. So now minus two zero four eight zero so i will go to decimal cancel so minus two zero four eight zero equals so minus twenty four eighty okay it is showing in i think uh, 64 bit format but we will take only 16 bit out of it so all zeros zero zeros correct then the last uh, one zero one one this is right okay now this says that this is a negative number and the, the, the magnitude is stored in a two's complement okay again you need to do the reverse to get back uh, this value anyway the calculator will give what is used in the computer and for this binary format if you see in the decimal it is minus 2480 i think you got to know how to even represent okay now the now the concept is okay now i want to represent this negative number okay minus 1.25 in q 1.2.13 then how about uh, uh, you know right shifting by one 
This is what we spoke right earlier for the positive number. What about for negative number? Here also it works in a similar fashion. Okay, this right shifting by one will work out. Um, but but what what is that you need to do? Uh, so let me let me take that number. Okay. Mm, so this is the um, final number, right? 1011 then 1234 1, 2, 3, 4. So right shift by 1. So if I right shift by 1, what will happen to this number? So 101. So what, what about the MSP? Since this is a negative number, even though if you do right shift, 1 will return as it is. So this will be in my uh, you know this was in Q14 format okay I'm writing it in a shortcut way this is Q13 format let us cross verify this all right so let me go uh, here uh, take the calci let me do one thing uh, decimal point I will go to um, you know minus two zero four eight zero okay so now this is uh, actually this this has got 64 bit right so we should now this will understand that this is negative number to this number uh, now i will do the right shift right shift by okay first uh, i have to go to binary and then in that binary i will do right shift by one is it i do mistake uh, no correct so if you see the last uh, 16 bits okay after doing the right shift the sign bit is written whereas the other bits have been shifted by right so now this will um, yeah if you see this one this will be minus 10,240 that's what is seen in calci right yeah 10 minus 10 to 40 so even uh, if you take this and minus 1.25 into q13 format means to the power of 13 if you do uh, you know we get uh, 10 to 40. So I hope uh, you got uh, uh, the concept uh, here but now I want to go for one more concept which is q1 dot let's say um, 0 dot 12. What about this? So now there is no integer actually I wanted 16 bits right but now there is no uh, uh, there is no integer part and even in fact if you add all the bits 12 plus 1 13 13 bits only but when it is 0 we can add you know this can be 12 bits and uh, 13 the here uh, the 3 bits can be always 0 right so which means 3 bits are always 0 for sign bit let's say I will take again uh, um, I will take plus 1.25 only so this is positive right remaining 12 bits I need to represent here so what will be the number can I represent no because this one what is the range this range is um, as I said integer is 0 then it will fall under this range and plus 1.25 we cannot actually uh, uh, you know represent, uh, represent using q1.0.1 so let me take another example which is 0.75 okay this will fall under this range so how to represent this one um, so positive number and uh, three bits are uh, integer zeros and 0.75 right this is one one this will give 0.75 then because this dot is here right so this will be uh, you know to the power of minus one then to the power of minus two this is 0.5 and this is 0.25 if we add i will get a 0.75 so then remaining all are all zeros so okay so then how to uh, how do i represent this let's say 0.75 i am representing in q uh, q12 so i will take this one so 0.75 into uh, um, you know q uh, to the power of 12 which is 3072 so let us see uh, in the calci okay i will reset go to decimal 3072 i will take and you can see that this is in 12 bits the remaining first four four bits are zero that's why it's not shown 
so and you can see that that is the same uh, thing which i have represented here now how to represent uh, minus 0.75 okay you are how to represent minus 0. Uh, so msb bit has to be zero right all the remaining msb bits will be zero since the magnitude is uh, present in this 12 bits mm, if you definitely take uh, uh, minus 1. Point, uh, uh, minus 0.75 uh, you know all msp bits are zeros and the remaining bits we need to see okay so let us see that one so you can do the um, you know proof complement and check it but right right now i'm directly doing it in can see so which is minus uh, 3072 okay so if you see all ones then zero one Okay, I will write it here. Then uh, it is uh, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay, this is in two's, two's complement. This is for uh, uh, minus 0 0.75. Okay, from here you can do two's complement and you can cross verify. I hope you got all the concepts, uh, different queue formats, how to represent, how to convert from one key format to another key format, and, uh, and uh, even how to represent the negative number in queue format. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you're looking for more videos like this, please do subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye bye.